Hey y'all, I'm Lauren from Boxing Ladies and welcome back to our YouTube channel. So today I am going to be doing my July favorites. Um, these will be my outside the box favorites. These are products that I bought and enjoyed outside of subscription boxes, but I'll be compiling a list of products for my after the box series, so stay tuned for that in the next couple weeks. Um, so today I will be just talking about my favorite products I've been enjoying in the month of July, and then there'll be one product that I have not been enjoying for the month of July, and if you've watched YouTube at all, I bet you know what it is. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. So my, probably my number one favorite product that I reach for the most is the Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe. It's the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill palette. And I got this basically the day, the minute, the second it came out and I have loved it ever since then. Um, it has just so many shades. You can do so many looks with these shades. I mean, it's really the the palette that you can take anywhere and use for anything. I mean, I'm wearing it on my eyes today. I did sort of this like rose gold color up here with a little bit of that kind of, what is this called? Just kind of like a shiny color kind of in the middle there. And then on my bottom lash line, I did a little bit of this uh, this blue color, so pretty, right here. And then I also mixed in a little bit of this guy underneath my eyes. So, I mean, this is more of like an adventurous weekend look, but during the week, you know, there's so many neutrals that you can really use for almost any look and the colors are just stunning. And so I've just been loving this palette since it came out. Um, I do my makeup in my gym locker room and so, you know, for, for most days. And so, you know, I'm constantly like dragging palettes around with me and this is the one that I really need. I don't need more than one palette. This really has everything that I need. And so I just love it. So it is my number one favorite. Um, I ended up taping this like color name thing in there because the colors aren't listed underneath the names, but um, it just came on like a little card. This had a note underneath it that said like, this is dedicated to my subscribers, but like, who cares? That's unhelpful. So I just taped the names in there so I knew which ones I was using. And yeah, the colors are just great and I highly recommend it. It's sold out right now, but I know they're bringing it back so you can sign up on the Morphe, uh, the Morphe store page. I'll have that link below if you wanted to sign up to get an email when they came back in stock and I highly recommend that you do. This is $38 um, plus the cost of shipping, whatever that is. You can use you know, some influencer's code to get a discount on it. Um, I think it's worth every penny. It's more than the typical Morphe palette price, but I mean, the quality is different, the quality is better, and I just think that you get so many, so many shades, so many, you know, you can do pretty much any look in here. You have pops of colors, you have everything. So, I mean, it's the best. The only thing I don't really like about this palette is that it's white and it gets, oh, I just stuck my nail in one. <laughs> Sad. Sad. Um, no, I hate that it's white because it gets dirty. Like, it's so dirty. And, like, I'm afraid to touch it right now because my hands are dirty. But, um, so yeah, I kind of wish it was a darker color, but I love the palette. Small price to pay. Don't really care. It's just an aesthetics thing, but it is the bomb. You should get it. All right, the next thing that I've been enjoying in the month of July are my new Smith brushes. Um, I got these for my birthday. These are um, Smith, uh, Smith Cosmetics is a company that makes makeup brushes and unlike Morphe, which makes really affordable brushes, these brushes are a little on the pricier side. Um, they're more along the lines of when you're investing in like a makeup brush from MAC or whatever, they're around the same cost of that, maybe a little bit higher, um, but the quality is just amazing. Um, right now I only have the eye set. I got it for my birthday from my parents and I just love it. 
the brushes that I've used the most are um, this sort of bigger quill, I guess it's like more of like a crease brush in there. Um, it's a little bit dirty, I use it today. And then you have like the smaller one, which is also just like a smaller crease brush. And then this one, which is more of like a, like a packer brush, which you can use to put on like the shimmer shades and you can really get like in the corners because it comes to that really nice point in there. And then this brush, to be quite honest with you, when I got it, I really had no idea what it was for. I actually had to watch a video to kind of like figure it out, but I, um, I watched uh, Samantha Robindall's video where she had the um, creators of Smith Cosmetics on and they kind of went through every brush and uh, what each brush was for and it was really fascinating because each of their brushes are made just a little differently than a lot of other brushes on the market. So many other brushes on the market are basically mimicking MAC brushes for, I mean, to simplify, but um, Smith brushes, they really wanted to see um, what differences they could bring to the brush world. And so like each brush is made for a very specific reason. Though of course, you know, as with any brush, you can use it for whatever you want. When I got it and I didn't know what it was for, I was just kind of using it underneath my eyes to just sort of like blend or put shadow on and sort of like a, um, just sort of like a grunging, like a grungy way. Um, but then when I actually watched the video, this was supposed to be used to help blend your shadows really nicely and it does that. So yeah, I love, I love this brush, even though I didn't know it was for when I got it. And then I have like this teeny tiny, um, little eyeliner brush and I don't use this one as much. I, I did want it for gel eyeliner so I could wear that sometimes because I don't wear it too often. Um, so I have used it for that, but um, I've mostly been using these four and they're the best. So yeah, um, obviously, like I said before, they're not cheap, but they're about 20 something per brush. So if you just wanted to get one or a couple, you know, they're, they're pretty standard high quality brush prices, I would say. Um, obviously not cheap, but I definitely want to get the face brushes now that I have these and it's possible I might even get, oops, I might get um, a couple more of each of these just so I have doubles and can use, you know, I can use a few for different colors and things like that. So yeah, these are the bomb and I recommend them. So the Smith brushes were a little on the pricier side and now I'm going to share with you a product that's on the lower end of the spectrum and that is the uh, Wet n Wild One Step Wonder Gel Polish and it's actually the polish I have on my nails right now. Um, my nails are a little chipped, don't look too closely, but um, this is, I believe, um, $6 and I think it's one of the best uh, nail polishes that I own. Um, I have so many Julep polishes. That's almost the only brand that I use because of my subscription, but, um, I ended up getting this for free in with my Wet n Wild order. Actually, like I made an order for Wet n Wild. They didn't send it all. And then when they sent the rest to me that they didn't send as sort of an apology, they included this nail polish. And, um, I wasn't really expecting much because I just don't expect so much from Wet n Wild, even though now I do know that they make really high quality things. I still didn't expect too much because, I mean, again, it is drugstore nail polish, so like, how good can it be? But like, the answer is like, really, really good. And so I actually plan on getting several more colors uh, from this line so I can, um, so I can I mean, just because they're great. One of the best things about it, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you this, maybe if I get closer, but the the brush, I don't know if you can tell, it's just sort of like wide and flat. And it basically gets like my whole nail at the same time, which makes it really easy to paint. It dries really quickly. 
and then it stays for almost a whole week without chipping. I'm pretty sure I've worn it for over a week at this point, so that's why it's chipping now, but I totally recommend this if you see it at the drugstore, pick it up. Pick some up on Wet n Wild Cosmetics or wetnwildbeauty.com, whatever their site is. I always say like wetnwild.com and then that's definitely not their site because I've gone there and it, like it's the site for like Wet n Wild, the water park, but you know what I mean. You can find it if you're looking for it. Um, but yeah, it's awesome. Y'all should get some. All right. I honestly don't remember if I've shared the L'Oreal uh, Voluminous Lash Paradise in a Favorites Before. I've posted about it a lot online on my personal Facebook page. Oh, I did. I did talk about this last time. Well, it is still my favorite. I'm never going to be without it. That's what I'm saying. So it's still the bomb. You should still get it. L'Oreal Voluminous Lash, Lash Paradise. So good that it's my favorite every month. There you go. All right, and next up we have the Maybelline Master Chrome um, Metallic Highlighter, and I got this very recently from in my birthday haul. If you're watching that video, but um, it's just the color is so stunning that you know I just. It became my favorite like right away. So like look at that. Look at that. It is so pretty. Um, today I'm not wearing it on my face but I'm actually wearing it like a little bit on my shoulders, like on my collarbones a little bit. Um, yeah, I've been really been enjoying this pretty much since I got it. Um, and like the best part about it is it is like just around eight dollars or so. It is a perfect like blinding gold highlight and I love it like I can pull off a few darker highlighters even though I'm, I'm pretty fair since I have freckles I kind of have that like in between kind of complexion where I can wear a few different things and so while this might be a little too dark for like super super fair people um this can blend out really pretty um, on the face and it gives you like I said that really blinding highlight so totally recommend it if you have not picked it up you should do so and I really hope they make more colors soon because it is so good They're, this is the only color right now um, hopefully there'll be more colors soon I'm sure I'll buy them all and lastly I have an honorable mention I only got these a couple days ago so I really haven't been using them for very long, but I wanted to throw them in there because I am really enjoying them, and they are the um, Ordinary um, Foundations, and so if you haven't heard of the Ordinary, it is from the like parent company called DCM, I think, and the Ordinary is their most affordable line, and they have like 20 plus products, different serums, which have different active ingredients in them. So you can kind of buy a few of them. They're about like $6 each. They range from like six to $10 each, somewhere in there, um, very affordable. So you can buy a couple of them. You can kind of cocktail them together to make your own serum. And um, I haven't bought any of those yet. Um, honestly, it's pretty intimidating because there are so many, it's like, which ones do I need? I don't know. And then they're all like six dollars and so that could get like pretty dangerous pretty fast because if you buy like, I don't know, 20 products at six dollars each and then it becomes less affordable. Um, so I haven't gotten those yet, but I did get the Ordinary's uh, foundations. And so this one is the serum foundation and this one is the coverage foundation. And in this one, I guess in both of them, I'm color 1.2N, light neutral. And so I honestly thought I was going to like the coverage foundation more because I'm kind of like a full coverage kind of girl. I wear that pretty much on the, on the daily, but weirdly, I'm enjoying the serum foundation a little more. It's what I'm wearing today. 
Um, it was, I wore it yesterday. It wore all day. I had no issues with it. I thought for sure I was going to get greasy or something, and I never did. I haven't powdered up my face today. I have a little, like, just a little sheen, but I wouldn't say I'm, like, overly greasy or anything, and I've been outside in the Texas heat today. I've been, like, sweating and, you know, doing a lot of errands and stuff, so I really haven't put any powder on since then, and it's holding up really nicely. Again, I can hardly feel it on my face, which is really nice. Um, sometimes, like with the fuller coverage um, things, I'm pointing at this one, but just in general full, fuller coverage, I, you know, I get a lot of cakiness around my nose and things like that. And with this, I haven't really noticed that at all. And I still have to play around more with this one because I've only worn it once. But, like, honestly, right now I'm very impressed with both of these. And they are super affordable. They're, they're both $6.70 each on the DCM website. And it just, and I'll have all that information in the uh, description bar below if you're interested in buying them. For a while, they were out of stock because you know, everyone heard about their launch and ran and bought them, and I was like, wait, what? And I didn't get there in time, so I just signed up for their emails so I could um, be alerted when they were back in stock, and when they were back in stock, I, like, ran and I, you know, I bought them. I also bought a couple primers, which I'm still testing out, um, so I didn't want to put those in my favorites yet because I don't know if they are or not, but um, like I said, these are just honorable mentions, and I wanted to throw them in there because I think they're going to be a favorite pretty quickly. And finally, the one product that I have not been enjoying, I think y'all probably know, it's this. It is the Subculture Palette. As I said in my birthday haul video, I, I was just so disappointed with the shadows, they had so much fallout, they were so difficult to use. I couldn't use any of these brushes with them because it would have they would have produced so much kickback, it would have gotten all over my bathroom. I used just like the tiniest little brush that I had to try to put on that teal, and I just didn't look really I didn't really like how it looked. I didn't really like the mess that I knew it would make. And Honestly, I just, I thought they would be different because I love the modern renaissance so much. I thought this would be very much like that, and it's not. It's more like these are loose pigments rather than pressed pigments, and it's it was very disappointing. And so I'm going to be sending this back because I would rather save my $42 and put that towards the uh, Desi times KD Dose of Colors uh, collaboration, which... I think I would reach for and enjoy much more than this one. Um, I just, this was just so disappointing because I think I would have been less unimpressed if they had not said this was anything like the modern renaissance, if this had been marketed completely differently, if this wasn't, you know, supposed to be like the sister palette to modern renaissance, if they had just said, you know, this is our new eyeshadow palette, these are basically like loose pigments that we put in here, like very highly pigmented, you know, if they had told us ahead of time what these were going to be like, and they didn't tie it to their most popular palette that everyone loved, I think that people would feel differently about it. But because these are so hard to use, and it's so different from their modern renaissance palette, like, I mean, it's just, it's just not going to be something that I reach for, and I know that. Like, I thought about keeping it just so I'd have it in my collection, but I'm like, what's the point of that? Like, when I get a new eyeshadow palette, I really want to use it. Like, I don't want to get something and then just, like, set it aside and, like, oh, I'll use that later. Like, I want to use it all the time, and so, like, the day after I used my self-culture palette for the first time, um, like, I, I used my... Jaclyn Hill palette and it was like I almost cried with relief because it was so easy to use and the colors were so blendable and so pretty and I mean that's really how you should feel when you get a new eyeshadow palette you should just be so excited about it you should be excited to use it whereas um, I knew that I would never reach for the subculture palette and it's just such a bummer and it's like 
even the color that I liked the most or that caught my eye the most, this kind of electric color. It's, you can kind of see a line, but not really. It's just, I don't know. And so that was disappointing. The, the other colors are extremely pigmented, like extremely. And I think I mentioned in my video, like, like finger swatches are almost like the same as brush swatches. Like, I mean, you cannot deny that these are pigmented. But, like, I'm really afraid that my Jaclyn Hill palette is in my lap right now because, you know, these are going to get all over the place. So these super pigmented, like, pretty in that regard, but they're just too hard to work with. They're, like, too pigmented. Too hard to work with. Too fast. Too furious. No, I'm just kidding. It's just, I mean... Actually, it's funny I say that, but it's like it's like a sequel that I don't really like that much. So, um, it was just disappointing. Though, I do like Too Fast, Too Furious. Do not like Subculture. So, that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And we will see you in our next one. Bye!